Well, I think the the problem with bariatric surgery is that everybody uh, considered is uh, as the weight reduction surgery. But as a surgeon, we know that it is a life-saving surgery where we are not only aiming at reducing the weight, but we are also aiming to uh, reduce or control the metabolic storm which the body is going like diabetes, the, you know, cholesterol levels, blood pressures, psycho psychological aspects, the psychosomatic aspects. So I feel that bariatric surgery is a, is a life-saving surgery. It's not cosmetic surgery at all. The cosmetic surgery, people confuse liposuction with bariatric surgery, which is not correct. Liposuction is just a contouring surgery. Any part of your body which is uh, uh, which needs a contour, uh, contouring uh, can be done with liposuction, but liposuction is not a weight loss surgery. That is the cosmetic surgery, whereas bariatric surgery uh, not only reduces the weight, but also takes control of the metabolic storm and metabolic conditions. And it's a life-saving surgery. Uh, and it, it can be, as I said, can be compared with any other life surgery, life-saving surgeries like uh, coronary artery bypass or surgery for cancer or surgery for any other uh, disease which otherwise could be fatal. Most of the centers, at least I can talk about in India, and most of the centers in India, bariatric surgery is very, very reasonably priced surgery. And we must understand that this is a surgery which needs a lot of uh, uh, high quality disposables, high quality uh, stapling devices, high quality of anesthesia and trained surgeons and anesthetists team. So I would not uh, uh, agree with anyone that bariatric surgery is expensive. If you really look the various uh, data which have been analyzed, whatever the patient is paying for the bariatric surgery, he recovers the cost within two years after the operation. Uh, so, and after that, everything is his gain financially, otherwise. Otherwise, he tend to spend so much on management of high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, and its complications. And of course, uh, spends on joint replacements and coronary artery problems, the metabolic problems, amputations, diabetic food, dialysis, kidney transplants, eye complications, blindness, you know, so many things, innumerable things. Also the increased chance of getting a cancer. So I would say that uh, bariatric surgery from that point of view, whatever you pay in whichever center you pay, I think within two years, whatever you have paid comes back to you already. And rest of the thing throughout you uh, uh, sort of, uh, the bariatric surgery becomes the mainstay for a good and uh, well-balanced metabolic uh, clinical condition. Bariatric surgery is like any other surgery, uh, has got a protocols, has got the indications where bariatric surgery is indicated. So, uh, uh, if I want to explain from other very uh, simple to understand, say, for example, if somebody has got a coronary artery which is blocked 60% or 50%, they will not go for a coronary artery bypass. The same way, if, you, uh, if the BMI is less than 32.5, they do not qualify for bariatric surgery. We never offer them bariatric surgery. We never suggest them bariatric surgery. Bariatric surgery can only be uh, advised for patients with 32.5 BMI and comorbid conditions like hypertension, diabetes, dyslipidemia, uh, etc. Or 37.5 BMI without any of the comorbid conditions. If the BMI is anything less than uh, 32.5 in uh, diabetic patients and uh, 37 point less than 37.5 in non-diabetic patients, bariatric surgery is not indicated and nobody will advise them and nobody will agree to operate them and do a bariatric surgery. That has got a set protocol, set standards across the globe. 